Hello, my name is Ricardo. I call him from California. So we have Grundy here. I just want to ask a question. What is the actual job of a senator? Well, I am Sheriff Grundy, and I am patrolling the streets from 9 to 5 and in the street. And when I'm not patrolling the streets from 9 to 5, I have my deputies on the job. Now, as you know, Sheriff Grundy was my former role, but I like to tell you what I used to do is that. Because I do sometimes slip back to the sheriff role. You know, I demote myself to deal with the folks, the scum Alfreds and the scum Alfreds on road. Scum Davids also. And scum Colette's, if there's any scum Ellie's or scum Nigel's or scum Sarah's, scum, scum Mary's. Any, any, any of that are there. But yeah, my job involves locking up the criminals. You see, I have the cuffs always at the ready. I have the baton always at the ready. And if they do get a bit too feisty, I have the 9mm. Now, I do put them in the cells. Now, you're lucky if I do keep the key because usually... You'll be making, using your free phone call to call a locksmith so they can take you out of the cell. And usually I charge the locksmith with trespassing on the sheriff's county jail. Now, the best way to answer that, if you're a criminal, you better stay far clear of the sheriff. Because the sheriff don't fuck around. Anyway, moving on. Grundy, just, just tell us, um, what do you think of the current world affairs? Well, I'd first like to tell you about my job, and now as Senator Grundy. Now, obviously... When I'm in the Oval Office, when I'm in the Senate's house, I have a tie and shirt on. Right now, I'm in the Sheriff's role. In the Senate's office, we make policies. We make policies for the world and for the road. Okay? Policies which I think would make a good communi community. We try to reel out the vagrants because these vagrants, oh, we're setting up hostels for them. We're giving them free bread and soup every night. These vagrants need to be sent to the army. They can start as a petty officer, and one or two of them will reach the role of five-star general, and they will have thanked the Senate of Grundy. But yes, I'm working, you know, I'm not currently working with Barack Obama, because I'm currently representing the UK, so I'm more talking to Gordon Brown a bit more. But Senator Grundy is not just for the US, I'm making a new role in Britain. Senator Grundy, that will represent the House of Lords, the House of Parliament Commons, and Whitehall. And I'm also going to be having some conversations with the Queen Mother. And that's how I'm doing it, Wong Sen. Now, the, the presenter that you have here, Ricardo, now, you know, not that many presenters, you know, will get this opportunity to question the Senator in such an open way. But what do I think of current world affairs? It was mentioned to me the other day that the North Koreans were thinking about test firing missiles and that if the Japanese had a war boat within the China Sea and the Japanese shot down the missile they would see that as a declaration of war and invade the south now Korean relations are already itchy as it is now I wouldn't want a war with the North Koreans China and Russia against the United States NATO the European Union and the United States of America that is what you call a world war so the Koreans test fire these missiles. Do we shoot them down? Do we not? Well, as a senator, I make policies and I have to answer to these. <laughs> right, listen, this is what I mean. I might have to switch back to sheriff mode because we have an asshole on the street. Now, what I would usually do is grab the motherfucker, rip his head off, and put him in cuffs in the back of the van. But because I'm talking about more important things that are happening, I'm going to switch back to the senator's role. Now, I say we shoot down the missiles, and if North Korea and their 900,000 men of rice bellies want to come on those empty stomachs, we will kill them. And that's the bottom line, because Grundy said so. Now, what's your next question, Ricardo? Right, hey, we've got to ask the main question. What would you do if Darby Piglet Entwistle trespassed in your backyard? Now, let me tell you something. Facebook has already exclusively seen the, the Derby Pig races on dirt tracks. Now, if I saw the M Whistle Derby Pig in my backyard looking to get a little bit of food to plumb up his belly a bit more on that, what do you call it now? Plot belly pigs? Now, alliteration there. If I saw the Derby Pig in my backyard, I would have no choice but get to, to get the knife that I usually cut my chicken with and chop the pig's, the chi the pig's head off and use the pig's meat for a meal for the next couple of months. And that's what would happen to the Derby Pig. It would see R.I.P. The Derby Pig. Now, we wanted to end on a critical point because we was mentioning, as the Sheriff Grundy was mentioning, um, one of the long standing members of the North Moor Croke of Park. His name is Was. Now, Was has been a youth. He may be entering his, his 30s now, 
and be thinking about right going through his pension, <laughs> which Daniel, which the Derby pig did mention to him once, and he actually wanted to start a fight. Was maybe going through his pension, but we would like to shout it out to the world and say good luck. Now I'm gonna end this. Obviously, the presenter here. This is his new channel. I don't know what what's the new channel called. CFN. The new channel yes. of CFN. But I'd like to end this by. The senator is working for the community. I am about the community. If you have any queries, I do have a MySpace, I do have a Facebook, I do have a Bebo. But we'd like to um, end this point by saying we're just doing it larger.